understand that this is like a river too. In this case, I'm going to put in a magnetic piece of wood, which is a piece of aluminium. I turn on the current, which is like turning on the water, and the magnetic wood floats. When I let it go, it soon attains the speed of the river. But of course, in this case, the speed of the river is much greater than was the speed of the water. Well, I don't know what you expected to happen. I know the first time I tried this, I certainly didn't get the result I expected. Look at the way the walls are forming. Walls of filings, spacing themselves from each other. The spacing between the walls depends on their height. So I can comb this lot like I could comb my hair. All I'm doing now is flattening the filings down. And as I do so, they get closer together. Welcome everyone to this video, exploring the fascinating work of Professor Eric Laithwaite and his revolutionary magnetic river free energy generator from 1975. And in this video, we'll dive into the incredible potential of this device and how it could transform our world in 2025 and beyond. Professor Laithwaite was truly a visionary ahead of his time, and his work deserves much more recognition. Let's get started. Professor Eric Laithwaite was a British electrical engineer and professor at Imperial College London. He was renowned for his groundbreaking research into linear induction motors and magnetic levitation. In 1975, Laithwaite unveiled his most ambitious project, the Magnetic River Free Energy Generator. This device challenged the traditional understanding of energy production and sparked intense debate in the scientific community. The magnetic river, as Laithwaite called it, was a remarkable device that utilized the principles of magnetic fields and induction to generate continuous motion and electrical power. At its core, the magnetic river consisted of a series of powerful permanent magnets arranged in a loop. When set in motion, these magnets would induce electrical currents and surrounding coils, effectively creating a self-sustaining system. The key to the magnetic river's operation lies in the interplay between the moving magnets and the induced electrical currents. As the magnets move through the coils, they generate electrical currents due to electromagnetic induction. These induced currents then create their own magnetic fields, which in turn interact with the original magnetic fields, causing the magnets to continue moving. This feedback loop allows the system to sustain its own motion without any external power input. When Naithwaite first presented the magnetic river, it was met with a great deal of skepticism from the scientific community. Many experts argued that the device violated the laws of thermodynamics as it appeared to be producing more energy than it was consuming. This challenge to established scientific principles made Laithwaite's work highly controversial, and it faced significant opposition from mainstream academia. Despite the skepticism and criticism, Laithwaite remained steadfast in his belief in the magnetic river. He continued to refine the design and conduct experiments to demonstrate the viability of his device. Laithwaite was convinced that the magnetic river represented a breakthrough in energy generation and that it could potentially revolutionize the way we power our society. Based on Laithwaite's own estimates and the principles underlying the magnetic river, the device has the potential to generate significant amounts of electrical power. Some preliminary calculations suggest that a properly scaled and optimized magnetic river could produce enough electricity to power a small town or even a large industrial facility. The implications of such a breakthrough in free energy generation are truly mind-boggling. Imagine the world in 2025, where the magnetic river technology has been further developed and refined. This free energy generator could be deployed in homes, businesses, and even entire communities, providing a clean, sustainable, and virtually limitless source of electricity. It could revolutionize the way we power our homes, transportation, 
and industrial processes, dramatically reducing our reliance on fossil fuels and other non-renewable energy sources. The widespread adoption of the magnetic river technology in 2025 could have a profound impact on the environment. By eliminating the need for fossil fuels, we could significantly reduce greenhouse gas emissions and mitigate the effects of climate change. The magnetic river could also pave the way for the widespread use of electric vehicles, further reducing our carbon footprint and promoting a more sustainable future. The magnetic river's potential to provide free, abundant energy could also have significant economic implications. By reducing the cost of electricity and eliminating the need for traditional power plants and fuel sources, the magnetic river could drive down the cost of living and boost economic growth. Businesses and industries could benefit from the reduced energy expenses, leading to increased productivity and profitability. Of course, the implementation of the magnetic river technology in 2025 is not without its challenges. Issues such as scalability, manufacturing and integration into existing infrastructure will need to be addressed. Additionally, the resistance from established energy industries and potential legal and regulatory hurdles may slow the widespread adoption of this technology. To overcome the skepticism and resistance that Lathwaite faced in the 1970s, proponents of the magnetic river technology in 2025 will need to engage in a comprehensive educational and outreach campaign. This will involve demonstrating the device's safety, reliability and adherence to established scientific principles. Collaboration with respected academic institutions and industry leaders will be crucial in building trust and acceptance. In the years leading up to 2025, we can expect to see significant advancements in the materials, engineering and manufacturing processes that support the magnetic river technology, improved magnetic materials, more efficient coil designs and advanced control systems could all contribute to enhancing the device's performance, reliability and scalability. The successful implementation of the Magnetic River in 2025 will require substantial investment and funding from both public and private sources. Governments, venture capitalists and large corporations will need to recognize the transformative potential of this technology and allocate resources towards its development and deployment. To fully realize the Magnetic River's potential, a collaborative effort involving scientists, engineers, policymakers and industry leaders will be crucial. By fostering interdisciplinary partnerships and encouraging cross-pollination of ideas, we can accelerate the progress and address the various challenges that may arise. As with any transformative technology, the magnetic river will also need to address social concerns, such as the potential impact on existing jobs and industries. Policymakers and stakeholders will need to develop strategies to ensure a just and equitable transition, protecting the livelihoods of those affected and creating new opportunities in the emerging magnetic river industry. The magnetic river technology has the potential to be a global game changer and its impact will not be limited to any one country or region. Fostering international cooperation and sharing knowledge and best practices will be essential in ensuring the widespread adoption and equitable distribution of this revolutionary technology. To inspire the next generation of innovators and encourage widespread public acceptance, education and awareness will be crucial. Integrating the magnetic river and its principles into STEM curriculum, organizing public demonstrations and open houses, and leveraging media and social platforms will all play a vital role in shaping the future of this technology. As we explore the transformative potential of the magnetic river, it's important to also consider the ethical implications of this technology. Issues such as data privacy, cybersecurity, and the responsible deployment of the magnetic river will need to be carefully addressed 
to ensure that the benefits are equitably distributed and the risks are mitigated. In conclusion, the magnetic river technology developed by Professor Eric Lathwaite in 1975 holds immense promise for revolutionizing the way we power our world in 2025 and beyond. By harnessing the power of magnetism and induction, this free energy generator could provide a clean, sustainable, and virtually limitless source of electricity with the potential to transform industries, economies, and the environment. While challenges and obstacles remain, the dedication and vision of those who carry forward Lathwaite's legacy can bring this revolutionary technology to fruition, ushering in a new era of energy abundance and environmental stewardship.